the provisions relating to lay off of workmen of different types of industrial establishments under the Industrial Disputes Act 1947 are discussed under section 25C, 25E, 25M and 25Q. Section 25C and Section 25E are discussed under Chapter 5A. On the other hand, Section 25M and Section 25Q are mentioned in Section sorry, in Chapter 5B. Section 25C provides right of workmen laid off for compensation and section 25E provides workmen not entitled to compensation in certain cases. On the other hand, section 25M provides prohibition of layoff and section 25Q provides penalty for layoff. With her previous permission. Let us discuss the sections in detail. Section 25C Right of workmen laid off for compensation. Whenever a workman, other than a budly workman or a casual workman, whose name is born on the master rolls of an industrial establishment and who has completed not less than one year of continuous service under an employer is laid off whether continuously or intermittently he shall be paid by the employer for all days during which he is so laid off except for such weekly holidays as may intervene compensation which shall be equal to 50 percent of the total of the basic wages and their next allowance that would have been payable to him had he not been so laid off, provided that if during any period of 12 months a workman is so laid off for more than 45 days, no such compensation shall be payable in respect of any period of the layoff after the expiry of the first 45 days, if there is an agreement to that effect between the workman and the employer provided further that it shall be lawful for the employer in any case falling within the foregoing proviso to retrench the workman in accordance with the provisions contained in section 25 f at any time after the expiry of the first 45 days of the layoff and when he does so any compensation paid to the workman for having been laid off during the preceding, sorry, preceding 12 months may be set off against the compensation payable for retrenchment. Explanation Budley workman means a workman who is employed in an industrial establishment in the place of another workman whose name is born on the master rolls of the establishment but shall cease to be regarded as such for the purposes of this section if he has completed one year of continuous service in the establishment. Section 25E Workmen not entitled to compensation in certain cases. No compensation shall be paid to a workman who has been laid off. Clause 1 If he refuses to accept any alternative employment in the same establishment from which he has been laid off, or in any other establishment belonging to the same employer suitable in the same town or village or situated within a radius of five miles from the establishment to which he belongs. If, in the opinion of the employer, such alternative employment does not call for any special skill or previous experience and can be done by workmen, provided that the wages which would normally have been paid to the workmen are offered for the alternative employment also. Clause 2 
section 25e if he does not present himself for work at the establishment at the appointed time during normal working hours at least once a day clause 3 if such laying off is due to a strike or slowing down of production on the part of workmen in another part of the establishment Section 25M Prohibition of Layoff Subsection 1 No workman, other than a badly workman or a casual workman, whose name is borne on the master rolls of an industrial establishment to which this chapter applies, shall be laid off by his employer except with the prior permission of the appropriate government or such authority as may be prescribed by that government by notification in the official gazette hereafter in this section referred to as the specified authority obtained on an application made in this behalf unless such layoff is due to shortage of power or to natural calamity and in the case of a mine such layoff is due also to fire flood excess of inflammable gas or explosion Subsection 2, Section 25M. An application for permission under Subsection 1 shall be made by the employer in the prescribed manner, stating clearly the reasons for the intended layoff, and a copy of such application shall also be served simultaneously on the workmen concerned in the prescribed manner. Subsection 3. Of section 25M, where the workman, other than badly workman or casual workman of an industrial establishment, being a mine, have been laid off under subsection 1 for reasons of fire, flood, or excess of inflammable gas or explosion, the employer in relation to such establishment shall within a period of 30 days from the date of commencement of such layoff apply in the prescribed manner to the appropriate government or the specified authority for permission to continue the layoff. Subsection 4 of Section 25M When an application for permission under Subsection 1 or Subsection 3 has been made, the appropriate government or the specified authority after making such inquiry as it thinks fit and after giving a reasonable opportunity of being heard to the employer the workman concerned and the person interested in such layoff may having regard to the genuineness and adequacy of the reasons for such layoff the interest of the workman and all other relevant factors by order and for reasons to be recorded in writing grant or refuse to grant such permission and a copy of such order shall be communicated to the employer and the workman. Subsection 5 of Section 25 M Where an application for permission under Subsection 1 or Subsection 3 has been made and the appropriate government of the specified authority does not communicate the order granting or refusing to grant permission to the employer within a period of 60 days from the date on which such application is made, the permission applied for shall be deemed to have been granted on the expiration of the said period of 60 days. Subsection 6 of Section 25M An order of the appropriate government or the specified authority granting or refusing to grant permission shall, subject to the provisions of Subsection 7, be final and binding on all the parties concerned and shall remain in force for one year from the date of such order. Subsection 7 of Section 25M The appropriate government or the specific authority may either on its own motion or on the application made by the employer or any workman review its order granting or refusing to grant permission under Subsection 4 or refer the matter or as the case may be cause it to be referred to a tribunal for adjudication 
provided that where a reference has been made to a tribunal under this subsection it shall pass an award within a period of 30 days from the date of such reference subsection 9 of section 25 m notwithstanding anything contained in the foregoing provisions of this section the appropriate government may if it is satisfied that owing to such exceptional circumstances as accident in the establishment or death of the employer or the like it is necessary so to do by order direct that the provisions of subsection 1 or as the case may be subsection 3 shall not apply in relation to such establishment for such period as may be specified in the order subsection 10 of section 25 m the provisions of section 25c other than the second proviso there to shall apply to cases of layoff referred to in this section explanation for the purpose of this section a workman shall not be deemed to be laid off by an employer if such employer offers any alternative employment who is in the opinion of the employer does not call for any special skill or previous experience and can be done by the workman in the same establishment from which he has been laid off or in any other establishment belonging to the same employer situated in the same town or village or situated within such distance from the establishment to which he belongs that the transfer will not involve undue hardship to the workman having regard to the facts and circumstances of this case sorry of his case provided that the wages which would normally have been paid to the workmen are offered for the alternative appointment also. Section 25Q Penalty for layoff and retracement without previous permission Any employer who contravenes the provisions of Section 25M or Section 25N shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to one month or with fine which may extend to 1000 rupees or with both.